Hi there, this is going to be a special love reading and if you guys have been watching me for a bit, you know the past maybe like, I don't know, few days I had mentioned that I got channeled Eros which is Cupid and also the song by Sam Cooke, Cupid, which is Cupid, draw back your bow and let your arrow go straight to my lover's heart for me. It's really late at night right now in Hawaii, so I'm not going to belt it out. And luckily for you guys, <laughs> for your ears, the benefit of your auditory, <laughs> sensory <laughs> body parts, uh, I'm not able to sing very loud right now. Um, but I, you know, I kept saying that I wanted to channel the energy into a reading. And here we go. Now I have a few announcements first. For those of you that have, you know, kind of delayed and were unable to order my I Am Love bracelets, guess what? They're back in stock and there is a very small amount available. So for those of you that missed it the first, the second, and the third time, here we go. I just put it up on my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com. Go ahead and order them there. Later this week, I'm going to be introducing my second bracelet, okay? But for those that missed the I Am Love bracelets, go ahead to my site and check it out. They are, you know, charged up with um, healing energy, Reiki energy. I sound charge them. I pray over them and I do Sanskrit mantras. And basically you feel me all up in the bitch, okay, when you put it on. And I'm all about empowering, okay? We are kings and we are fucking queens. Now, here we go. This is going to be general. So this is going to be for all signs. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Now, I'm going to be you know, trying to channel this energy. Why are they channeling Cupid to me? Well, because I think that Cupid, aka the universe, they're going to be doing a little something, something, honey. Okay? Is it Cupid's energy? Eros? Well, shit, it might be. We've been channeling secret admirer, right? Someone spying, lurking. Is that you or is that the other person? I don't know. Someone's a lurker and someone's a lurky, okay? Someone's being stalked and someone's the stalker. <laughs> so let's just get some cards out. This is the lover's oracle deck. And let's just see. Spirit, tell us what's going on with this Cupid energy that I've been channeling. Give us some cards to give us a little bit of insight. Give us some insight, please. This is going to be like instant love. Love at first sight. I can assure you. That could be why they're channeling, you know, that energy. Oops. That energy of... We're going to take three. <laughs> oh, Lord. Only time will tell. Mm, mm, mm. Patience is a virtue, hunties. All in divine timing. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship. And your love life will dramatically improve. Oh, you guys are going to be BFFs. I can feel it too. Not just friends, but lovers. It will, the, the person is going to be the perfect package for you. Everything. The yin to your yang. And your freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. For those of you that have learned, which I keep preaching, that while you were single, you were not lonely. You were free. There was freedom in that. Your vibration rose so much, okay, for those that did the work, cleared your karmic path. He's sitting pretty on your throne, huh? The universe said, look at that. Come on now, let's go do a little something something. Cupid, go. Shoot this motherfucking arrow now. See when you do the work? it comes and i feel like why i'm seeing cupid's arrow or cupid itself you know is really because it's going to be this thing like a stranger just falls in love whether you fall in love with them first they fall in love with you first somebody falls in love first and i'm talking head over heels like that instantly instantly love at first sight honey i'm in love with a stranger instead of i'm in love with a stripper honey although some of you that might be the damn case i don't know let me drink this green tea over here. Okay, that ain't none of my business. But what I do know is that this is going to be like lightning striking with Uranus energy and Jupiter and Venus, honey. We got Scorpio, a little something, something. Oh, it's going to be fucking lusty as shit, too. 
See, we have the Ace of Pentacles. I have the Devil and I have the Four of Wands. Oh, it's going to be lusty. Very sexual, very carnal. I don't feel like that Devil Energy is why it's bad because look at what it's with. Look at the four cards it's with. I have the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Six of Wands. No. This could be just Capricorn energy, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Not only that, though, I feel like this is really about sex. It's something to do with the sacral chakras. It's a very, very crazy, extreme sexual connection between you and this other person, okay, if this resonates with you. That's why it's going to be like Cupid strikes his arrow, because it's like instant attraction. This is like an extreme attraction, borderline obsessive between the two but healthy i think though because it's going to be very balanced you have the four of wands here which four is about stability four is home life this is the marriage and union card here too you have six of wands which will be very successful this is also somebody being i keep channeling it right that somebody is very successful or in the public eye that's what six of wands is it's public recognition Again, it's screaming public recognition or recognition. So either the person or you are public, you know, you do something in the public eye, or this is you guys getting recognized in your jobs, okay? Like your employee of the fucking month or something, honey. I don't know, but good job to you, okay? Um, hence why some of you be getting more coins with this Ace of Pentacles, raises. Some of you getting new jobs, so it's more pay. This can also be moving for some of you. But... This is the universe handing out a little bit of abundance. I mean, a little or a lot, right? It's basically dependent on what did you work through in your karmic cycle. How big your payout will be is kind of dependent on the work you did. Six of Swords ooh, and Sagittarius, Temperance. Six of Swords is moving on to calmer waters, peace of mind. Then we have Temperance, which is reconciliation. This is an old soulmate connection. I channeled that in one of the other readings I just did, one of the dailies, that it is an old soul connection. It's past lives. And it's like a vow is being... A vow is being resurrected. And that's all... I, that's, I just want to say that for right now. I'm not feeling these three cards. I know. I know. But I have to be feeling it when I pick it up and touch it. And I'm not feeling it. There's a resurrection here of something. And it's a vow. Something was remembered. Now, see, I told you, the spying. Look, Page of Swords. Page of Swords is lurking, spying, keeping tabs. This can also be someone doing more research. Doing more research on somebody, honey. I don't know. Then you have the Aries card here with the Emperor. This can also be the masculine's energy. Six of Cups. I told you, it's someone from the past coming back. It's a soulmate. I told you. I can feel it. Six of Cups. Soulmate, love boomeranging back around that's how come when you see the person it's like instant you fall in love at first sight literally that's what i feel and i i, I gotta tell you because there's spying involved here i feel like one person has seen the other one and the other one hasn't seen them yet and i said yet because i think that that's exactly what's brewing here the universe is yeah, gonna intervene with the tower energy tower energy is uranus tower energy is her page of pentacles offers of things coming in starts off small for those of you this is not just love this is abundance in general starts off small for some of you then the big daddy over here comes out yeah the lovers i told you it's sexual it's sacral energy too so the sacral chakra might be activating right now between the two of you or when one of you or both of you see each other, the sight is seen, not needing now, seeing, activates the sexual, the sexual chakras, which is sacral, the sacral chakras. It's activating it. And I could feel it. It's definitely some type of, it's like you see them and boom, you start getting activated. I mean, honey, I know there's a little bit of throbbing and things out there too, but what, what I'm talking about is chakra activation, okay? um not just other things activating down there okay but um you know it's going to be all of the above okay honey we're not checking a b or c we are checking d which is all of the above so <coughs> this could be gemini energy here right it could be it could but this is a sacred union for two people coming together and you see this angel here oh this angel had a little something something 
Ooh, it did. See that sun behind here too? Ooh, the sun had a little something, something to do with it also. It's like, the universe is totally blessing this union. Totally blessing this union. Cupid's arrow is striking. Cupid or the universe? Yeah. Kind of one and the same if you think about it. All right, I want to do a spread with the Crystal Visions deck. Tell me about this connection. Page of Cups, again, I keep getting it in all my readings. Page of Cups is someone from the past coming in to offer something. So this life, past life, most of you, it's going to probably be past life. Something tells me you've never met them. Mm -mm. You have the Seven of Wands, the Lovers, Nine of Wands, King of Wands. An obstacle here is removed. And then it brings it in. The obstacle is this, Nine of Wands, being the wounded warrior. Blocking this out for some of you guys. Because you were hurt in the past. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. Someone here was hurt in the past. They're blocking this out. Seven of Wands. What are they blocking out? They're blocking out this. The lovers again. Blocking out this. Look. Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is a secret admirer energy. Could be someone wanting to apologize. But this is secret admirer. Page of Cups. Someone's looking at something. See how they're like, she's longing for this? What, what That one is illuminated. The rest are not. This one is. And you see that full moon there? Ooh, something's happening with this Taurus full moon on the 24th. Mm, 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 I'm telling you. Activate something. Could it activate a particular chakra? Well, I think that right now the heart chakra has been activated and open for a bit since August. There's some type of connection from August till now with karmic payouts and our karmic lessons and such, as well as the heart chakra. The heart chakra is the gateway, right? And the heart chakra is the gateway to all abundance. The floodgates are opening, meaning the heart chakra is opening up. This is something else, though, that's activating. Someone wants to come in and offer something to you, but you're blocking it right here with the seven of wands. Why? because we're wounded still but it's not actually being wounded it's just the memory of that you know you have the king of wands someone who's very passionate and ready to take action page um excuse me the king of wands is someone who don't he doesn't fuck around he or she doesn't matter right but the gender is the energy this person knows what they want and they're gonna come and get it they want you they want you or you want them Oh, the lovers again, sacred union. It's very sexual. There's a theme here. It's very sexual. I told you the sun was a big deal. And look, we have the sun card. This is Leo energy, but that's the, the sun. I could feel it in the lover's card, the other lover's card in the you know, golden universal deck. There's something here with the sun. It's like, of course, truth and illumination, right? And during this time period, we we're talking about how the blinders are coming off. And, you know, things are going to be crystal clear to us. But it's a little more than that. It's like the sun, it's very indicative of, you know, a dawning of a new day, yes, new beginnings. But also, this is prosperity. It is fucking harvest time. You've planted your seeds, you've done the work, get ready to reap what you sowed. That's what it feels like. We're reaping. We're reaping. That's why I said your karmic payout will depend <clears throat> on what it was that you, what did you do, what did you learn? what it depends on that's a lot but I, i'm gonna feel them out fucking wheel of fortune as i said destined and faded destined and faded events this is good luck also <clears throat> karma karmic scales right karmic debt the wheel turns now the abundance flows in this is divine timing though this is fucking destiny it's destined and faded i keep telling you guys that's what i keep channeling destined and faded and magical events we have here the Page of Pentacles. Again, different deck, again. Page of Pentacles is small offers coming in, communication of things. Things starting to pick up. I feel like you get an 
uh, you get an offer of something here, an offer of something, but it's not good enough almost. So, you know, this is how you can tell your, your, your abundance is starting to flow in. You get little things coming at first for some people. Yeah? They may not get the whole shebang at first. So let's say, for example, you know love is coming close because now all of a sudden, out of nowhere, guys and women or whoever it is, whoever, right, is just everybody, honey, basically put it that way. Everybody checking your ass out. You walk out the door, honey, it's like Tupac Shakur, all eyes on me, okay? It's because you're now attracting people. Your vibration is going up. People are attracted to that, right? Um, you have here the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. My, 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 very well manifested. Ace of Pentacles, right? What is that? Abundance. Again, moving, more money coming in. So that's twice. Two people coming together to form one stable foundation with each other, see? And this is a star, destined and faded. <clears throat> Someone wished on a star. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, financial abundance and success. Very well manifested. These two people are very well manifested. Coins wise, money wise. They both have empires. Ten of Pentacles here is also about stability and commitment. <clears throat> Ten is a completion. Something here had to end. The wheel had to turn. Now the new comes in. And definitely something ended. Look, we have here the world's card. This is travel. There's going to be travel here, back and forth, or a lot of travel together, whether seeing each other or together. I can't tell. This is also a card of completion. This is also Saturnian lessons because Saturn is, you know, with this card. Saturn energy with the world. Karmic lessons. Saturn is considered the Lord of Karma. I told you it's karmic payouts for sure. And it's like you're being blessed so abundantly depending on what you learned. You got to close the book though and move on to the third and final book in the series, right? Some of you are still living in the second book and you've read every page over and over and over and over and over and over. You stuck in your stagnant. The cycle is over. And then the three of cups, it's a fucking reunion. There's the full moon again. Reunion card, celebration. People coming together. Counterparts. It's divine unions. The real twins appear. And you guys heard me, right, from last week, maybe two weeks now, a couple weeks. I can't remember how long it's been that I've been kind of sneaking it in conversations, maybe a few weeks now, um, that, you know, my idea of the twin flame thing has changed because I've always felt very differently about it as other people did. Other people had this certain belief of it, and I had my own. I don't like the label of it. First of all, you guys know that about me. I never have. It's a soul connection, period. I use the term soulmate and twin flame to differentiate for people, okay? Now, do I believe in both? Yes, but I feel there are differences, of course. Um, the thing about it is, is that I feel like when this Cupid's arrow strikes, right, and this love at first sight happens, the reason I feel it's so strong and it's so deep is because this is a reflection of who you are. This is your counterpart. This is the mirror to your reflection. This is the exact match of your vibration, hence a twin. But I thought my twin was so-and-so and I thought we only had one person. Well, yeah, only one person can be your twin. Ooh, plot twist. What if we've been looking at it very wrong all this time, which is what I've been trying to sneak in conversations and readings, if you guys have been following me for a bit. What if the plot twist is that it's always been about self-love, which is why I preach it, which is why my products are called I Am Love, because that is the key. It's never been about them. It's always been about us. We never sit and hold space for people. We don't. We can love them unconditionally and love them from afar. But if all you do is bring me pain and not peace, I can't fuck with you. We have our own cup, right? We've learned the art of self-love. When you get to that highest vibration and level of self-love, I feel like it really does unlock something in you. And it ends up putting out this frequency, almost like this transmission. And then a particular person of also an extremely high vibration becomes like, you know, like a moth to a flame to you. Hence, Cupid's arrow striking because it's going to be like falling in love with a stranger. It's going to activate something within the both of you where it's this knowing. It's this very sacred sexual type of almost carnal energy. It will be... 
very, I, like I said, borderline obsession, but in a healthy way, not anything codependent, and not because it can't be. You guys are both high vibrational. This would be. This is a very. This has been in the works for quite some time, though. I've got to tell you because I feel like for a lot of people there was some type of vow. And if you guys go back to my old readings, I did a special love reading called the vow. And you know, I kept talking about what the high priestess was holding in her hands. Those, you know. Those pieces of papers, what was it on her scrolls? What was written there? She had a secret all this time. The secret is now being revealed. Blinders are coming off. Truth versus illusion. Oof. Are we finally going to start seeing things differently? Are we actually open to seeing things differently? I'm an Aquarius. <coughs> By nature, I'm very open-minded and I see things very differently. So I'm going to see things very differently compared to most other signs. And what I'm feeling like, which resonates with myself personally, and it doesn't have to resonate with you, is that the twin can be anybody. It's just your fucking twin looking at yourself back in the mirror. Okay? That's what I believe. I don't believe it has to always have been the same person. No. Because clearly the person I thought was my twin didn't end up being what he was was my greatest teacher the person who i thought my who was my twin literally taught me the art of self-love because he put me through so much and on so many occasions i had to choose myself over him and you know that's how the term no crumbs and 7.5 billion people came about was me you know basically signing in my power with him to say i wouldn't accept crumbs and <clears throat> you know he taught me that lesson and then also I taught him a little something, <clears throat> which for some of you guys, you know, you're going to notice, hey, it wasn't a loss. There's never any accidents. If you had someone that you thought was your twin, come to find out they're not. I guarantee you there were lessons there that needed to be learned. What did you teach them? Right? For some of us, what we did was we cracked them open. And uh, Although it was tough to admit in the beginning, now I find so much peace and comfort in it that, you know what, sometimes our role is to crack them open and warm them up and make them a better man or woman for another man or woman. And, you know, <clears throat> you know you've healed when that doesn't bother you because you, you just think to yourself, I just want them happy and I wish the best for them. And, you know, God, that type of energy, I could see how that could skyrocket your frequency and vibration because it's unconditional love, right? I love you. I want you to be happy, even if it's with someone else. So, yeah, things are just, you know, I'm looking at things very differently than I was before. I'm just seeing things differently. Like I said, the blinders are coming off for everybody. Look what we have here. Mahavatar Babaji, soul expansion. This is the Om symbol. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. <clears throat> I am that I am. I am not a drop of the ocean. I am the ocean. Quoted by Rumi. Hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. Mm, I am love. Self-worth. What you think? Gaia. Earth connection. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to Earth. Stay grounded. Completion here also. Things coming full circle. Lord Shiva, transcendence. Rise up. Honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. I feel like I want one more. Hold on, okay? Why do these cards... Hold on. Lady Venus, that's exactly what I needed with this Venus energy. Venus is retro in Scorpio. Downloads and understanding. Truth is being revealed. I fucking told you. You can't write it. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. Go watch one of my previous readings. I can't remember if it was the Monday or Tuesday daily reading. I literally talk about how in the dream state, we're getting all of these downloads coming to us. I literally just talked about it. Channeled it already. Um, talked about a Venus energy and such. Here it is. Boom, there you have it. <clears throat> Venus, Jupiter, Uranus, Taurus, Pisces, Neptune. All of these energies are going to be, like, like I keep telling you guys, it's like the perfect storm because it's like a perfect mix of things. The perfect storm is brewing. And what is it a perfect storm to? Oof, you're going to see all abundance. Like I said, the counterpart is coming in because the vibration has changed. 
Look at that. Oh, geez, I love this. Protection. You, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. This union is divinely protected, just like we've always thought the twin flame union was. Sacred, protected, divinely guided. I mean, it's the same thing, but I think we've been looking at it a little bit differently. Let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. So to be able to give love is one thing, but you also have to be able to receive love, right? You have to be able to do both in order to master that art of love. And then you have have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. Literally right now, the manifestations are like that. So be careful what you think feel and say because law of attraction we create our reality right by what we think feel and say make a decision feeling stuck or indecisive listen to your intuition and make a decision for some of you decision making time what do i have to make a decision on it's probably what you're asking something tells me it has to do with totally releasing the old for some of you a lot of us have already gone through that process and released all of the old and you know but for those of you that still have a little something something well better take advantage of this taurus full moon on the 24th right go and take advantage of that go and release anything that still needs to be released once and for all once and for all trust oh i love that honey ask for help from others they got beautiful rainbow around them too oops remain positive i'm not going to take those two that flipped over all right honey so you got trust which is again surrendering because when you surrender right you allow when you allow you can then receive we just talked about this receiving Trusting the universe that there are no mistakes. That's why I said it wasn't like something in the past like, oh, fuck, I wasted my time with this person. No, I guarantee you that there was something that you both taught each other. Trust. Trust that you are exactly where you are meant to be. Trust that this person that is going to be coming into your life is someone that you're going to fall head over heels in love with. So, for example, you meet somebody and you don't fall head over heels in love with them. They're not the one. Just because the very next one comes along doesn't mean that's the fucking one. you got to use discernment. No, the freaking next guy on Tinder that asked to date you ain't might not be the one. We don't know that yet. So, you guys got to really use discernment, okay? Ask for help from others. Mm -hmm. Honey, if you doubt, you better get some help. This is asking for help from spirit guides, from angels, and also like people booking readings with me, getting help from an outside source, someone that's not biased. And didn't I just talk about the remain positive with law of attraction, right? I talk about it almost every fucking reading that we have to be very careful. I forget what reading it was recently that I was, you know, harping about it. May have even been one of my lives on Instagram. But this is a reiteration, you guys. Love at first sight. Cupid's arrow strikes. Oh, it's going to be juicy, too. Now, hold on. I want to pull some cards off of this particular deck because it's very cupid -y. And I don't know, just very romantical. We're also going to... Before we end this, pull some cards off of the Romance Angels deck. How could we not when we're talking about Cupid and Eros and romantical energies, right? How could we not? But this is a deck that I rarely ever use, and it's called the Guardian Angel Tarot Cards by Doreen Virtue. And they're just absolutely gorgeous, honey. But I rarely use them because I use cards that I feel drawn to. And in some readings, I feel more drawn to use others, you know, some I don't. But let's end this reading by pulling these two beautiful romantic cards. Let's see what Spirit has to tell us. This is new love coming in for a lot of you guys. It'll happen when it's time. The moon dreams. You guys are dreaming of each other. Maybe you just dreamed of them. They dreamed of you. Then you guys see each other in real life and be like, holy shit, I dreamed about you. Religious factors. This is definitely spiritual awakening here. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Awakenings. Someone here is also very religious. Religious or spiritual. 
you know, when you awaken, you realize it's not about religion, right? It's about spirituality. So, you know, I don't know. It's going to be one of the two, whether they're really religious or spiritual. You also have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Ooh, interesting. And then we have chemistry. I fucking told you. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I told you, hunties. It's complete complete head over heels love at first sight even if they're not your type let's say for example you go oh i usually don't like really tall and skinny you can be like oh i'm so in love or i don't really like short and stocky oh i'm so in love okay let's say for example that's what it is what if you go oh i don't like spiritual people they're spiritual like a motherfucker fucking practicing to be a shaman and shit you know what i'm saying um that's what i mean like they may not be your usual type also what this tells me too is the way you meet them might not be the usual way you meet people and talking about letting go, here we go. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. This is a really good reminder for me because I'm always like, how is it going to happen? How? I'm very queen of swords, very logical as an Aquarian. How? 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 And I have to re be reminded by several people, including my damn self every day, to stop asking how. Because when the universe wants it to happen, the universe will make it happen. So this is a very good reminder for all of us that we have to stop asking how and allow the universe to make it happen, right? So first card here is the Ace of Action beautiful cherub in here too let's see if anything else wants to come out is that it spirit just one yeah just one Ace of action. This cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity, your career, or pursuing your dreams. This is a card of action. And if you've been procrastinating, it's time to really get busy. It's also a great time to start a new business. Have confidence in your abilities. Something tells me that quite a bunch of you need this reminder here i'm sorry but i'm gonna go against the cards not coming out i feel like something else is meant to come out there's two here healer of thought it's time to clean up your life get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you disorganized people who take from you but don't give back should be released as well you or another person involved in this situation is wise insightful and caring has a wonderful sense of humor and offers a lot of life experience Oh, honey, who are we cutting out? Then we have the four of abundance. It's time to reflect upon your relationship with money. Are you spending it too freely or are you holding on to it too tightly? This can also relate to how you give of yourself to others. Is your heart open or are you holding back? Your hard work and wise investments will bring great success. All right, this is absolutely freaking beautiful. So again, I feel that a bunch of people, very soon, some of you may have already had this happen, will be encountering a person who, it's as if Cupid's arrow strikes, okay? Whether it's you or them or both of you. But what I feel is that for a vast majority of you guys, one person sees the other person first. That's why we keep constantly keep, you know, where we were before, especially I think like three weeks ago, every freaking reading was a page of swords. Page of swords comes out again. It's because there is this type of like watching the other person's spine um, until it's divine timing. I feel like a lot of the communication is going down through dreams. Like I said, dreaming of them. I dreamt of like this particular person like quite a few times recently and I'm going, what the fuck? And, you know, some of my psychic friends are like, oh, bitch, he can feel you. And I'm going, oh, my God, you think so? And they're like, yes. I mean, it makes sense to me because I can feel him very strongly. His energy is so strong that it's marinating over me, just everywhere, permeating over me. And that's how I know he's coming in so close. So what do I got to do? Well, bitch, I got to let go and not worry about the how and just let the universe make magic happen. Right? Because right now it is totally about us releasing this of how and who and what and when and where let's just enjoy our, our best life and go and focus on our shit go and stack our coins go and better ourselves and when the time is right they will appear and something tells me though they're already coming in because the attraction is so strong remember i said it's magnetic it's like this extreme sacred kind of 
sexual energy right here you had the chemistry card earlier too extreme chemistry like literally love at first sight everything about them too it's going to be the way they look the way they smile the way they laugh the sound of their voice then when you guys meet in person oh my god it's going to be even worse because the bodies the souls are going to be like whoop, magnets literally magnets and you'll know so for example you go on a tinder date you're looking at them like mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm, no, I'm not feeling this. That ain't the one, boo. Don't force this. This is where you're going to fucking know. How do you know, Missy? How do you know? I'll bet you just know. I swear to you, okay? Don't force this. Allow this to come to you. You don't chase it. You align with it, okay? We have to release control and let nature do its thing. All right, guys. Um, that's this energy that I keep channeling. And as you can see, it was a little bit more messages, you know, added to it than just, you know, about Cupid and arrows. And I got a mean feeling here that that arrow here, because you guys know if you follow me for a bit, a few months ago, I started channeling this arrow. They kept showing it to me. Not a bow and arrow, just an arrow. And I, it's it's something that I know is very symbolic and important and as of right now I don't quite have all of my you know messages put together to speak of it yet but you know as always when it's the right time they'll let me know all right you guys don't forget if you missed my I am love bracelets they are definitely back in stock go ahead and order okay my um Website link is in the description box if you guys want to follow me on social media, xi underscore missy underscore xi. I try to go live as much as I can and I pull a card spread and we talk stories. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, click on the box below. All right, beauties. I will see you guys again really soon, okay? Remember now, we are going to be hopeful and we are going to expect miracles and we are going to believe in magic, right? If you don't believe in magic, well, what the fuck? How's it going to happen? I love Roald Dahl saying, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. And ain't that the goddamn truth. All right, you guys, I'll see you guys soon. I love you.